Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning. Hey, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Good morning. Morning, everyone just joining in. Obviously, I'm not on the car dashboard today. The car is not in my presence. So, you're getting me from my office, a place that I feel like I have not sat in a very long time. Um, but alas, just because it's summer, many of us still have to work. So, I am here on Tuesday, I almost said Monday, Tuesday, May 31st, 2016, to bring you what you need to know so you are in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. I might have to adapt that. I keep forgetting for the summer. If you're watching live, appreciate it if you would swipe up or left to right to share the daily dash, depending on what device you're on. You can also touch this little guy down here to make sure you don't miss any of my live episodes. Of course, a few hearts in the corner are always appreciated too. So let me give you the news that you need to know today. Uh, there was a failed missile, 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 attempted missile attempt by North Korea. Um, I'm going to bring lots of sports news because honestly, I'm sick of hearing about politics and storms. I know for those of you that are in the midst of it, it is devastating, um, but there is just so much going on. I want to bring you some fresh new things so that you're on the cusp. Um, so the Golden State Warriors won the Western Conference Finals last night. I believe uh, no one has ever come back. They were down three games to one and they turned it around. Some really tight games too. So they beat Oklahoma. City, um, Simon Cowell returns as a judge on American TV, this time for America's Got Talent. And you know what? Sad sports news for me. The French Open is going on, and I can't watch any of it. None of it. I'm a tennis player because I don't have tennis channel. So it makes me sad that it's not on some of the mainstream networks. But alas, I will have to follow it online. So I hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you stopped and paused to actually remember why it's a weekend in the first place. So, um, we made sure to do that. I heard there were also new, um, hang on. No, that's not going to do it. Okay. So, there were new controls here on Periscope to actually block spam users. So, let's keep it family friendly here, people. Um, so this weekend, my best friend, Care and Jeff, her husband, Jeff, came in town, showed them all over. Of course, the one thing we had to do to celebrate her 40th birthday was take them to the Grand Ole Opry. If you ever come to Nashville, you have to go to the Grand Ole Opry. It doesn't matter if you like country music or not. It's such a unique experience. Um, it, it, it's just indescribable. We got to go backstage. It was so much fun. It's one of those things where it moves really quick. Most of the groups only have two songs. So you'll see like eight, nine, sometimes 10 acts in one night in like a two hour period. It's really incredible. So thanks to the Opry, we, we bought our tickets, but friends were able to help get us backstage. So that was really cool. Um, then we went and got some Mike's ice cream, walked around Broadway to listen to the honky tonks, uh, took him to the farmer's market, saw Todd Chrisley and his wife and son because they're now living in Nashville filming Chrisley Knows Best. Um, what else? What else? Just a lot of fun, fun stuff. Las Paletas burger up, a lot of food. Went to Five Daughters Bakery for the first time. Uh, so today it's kind of back on track. It's so funny because I'm making my kids do swim team this year. And we found, overheard another like daughter last night saying, I can't believe my mom's making me do swim team. I'm like, I am too. So it made uh, Kira's maybe feel a little better that she's not the only one being forced out of her comfort zone. She'll thank me one day. Uh, but tonight we're getting to see Beauty and the Beast live at TPAC, which is the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. It's only here for one week. If you saw it on the intro, May 31st to June 5th, tickets are selling out fast. So we're doing a mother-daughter day tonight. It's not only one of my favorite movies, it's just a beautiful, beautiful stage production. So make sure if you're in Nashville, you go check it out at TPAC or wherever it may be coming when and where you live. That didn't make sense. Go see Beauty and the Beast. Okay, I'm going to get to work. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you, wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and don't wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.